Hey guys, Spartan Jess here, and today, I wanted to show you guys how to paint or Cerakote the Avatar Plasma Grenade with some help from Redshirt. Now when you guys get the grenade skin out of the box, it comes in black with two blue o-rings and an aluminum sleeve that's supposed to hold the activation core. The first couple of steps are gently taking up the sleeve and o-rings from the skin. After that, we're ready to begin the Cerakoting process. Let us begin. We have our avatar plasma grenade shell having removed the metal sleeve that goes down the middle. We've already washed it in soap and water and we're now wiping it down with denatured alcohol to get every possible bit of oil off the surface to improve the adhesion of the Cerakote. Now our Cerakote project will be a mix of clear Cerakote high gloss which is a non-catalyzed air dry formula, so different than most of your Cerakote projects. And that'll be mixed with Gun Candy Stingray to give us the iridescent plasma grenade effect that we all know and love. Now that we've rinsed it with alcohol, we're blowing out all the alcohol so it'll dry faster and blowing off any lint that might have come from our process. All right, so to coat our avatar grenade, we're going to use a product called Gun Candy. And the color we've selected is Stingray. And this produces an iridescent blue, purple, red gradient, depending on the looking angle and the type of light, whether it's direct or reflected light. This powder mixes with four ounces of any type of Cerakote clear coating. In this case, we're using high glass ceramic clear, which is an air cure. We need to mix four ounces of clear with this container of powder and we'll get our coating and that'll give us all we need to do our avatar grenade. Definitely a respirator mask job. All right, we're about to mix in. We've already poured out our four ounces of Cerakote clear. It up and you can see just the colors changing. All shaken up. And that's part of the challenge is to keep it shaken up. We don't need much for this grenade job. Hopefully we will save in most of this. Alright, do some painting. That is incredible. Alright, we're going to quit while winning because more does not make it better. Alright, we're trying to put it back together after painting and of course the metal sleeve does not want to go in. So we have Ace Hardware Pure Silicone Lube. Give everything a liberal coat. Give a coat in through inside the grenade. All right. So as you can see, Redshirt and I had a little bit of trouble trying to put in the aluminum sleeve inside the plasma grenade. So eventually, we used a mallet to hammer in the sleeve. One thing you have to keep in mind, though, is the slits that are on the side of the sleeve. Make sure they're aligned with the slits inside the plasma grenade. And try your best not to cut up the inside of the plasma grenade. And that's how you Cerakote the Avatar Plasma Grenade. It's a pretty short video, but Redshirt and I thought this would be 
useful information for Halo Airsoft fans that really wanted the classic look of the plasma grenade. We painted the tiny details onto the plasma grenade skin after Cerakoting it to make it look like its classic counterpart. We've also decided to Cerakote the grenade because Cerakote is the hardest firearm coating on the market, making the coat pretty durable from being tossed around everywhere. I'll make sure to leave a couple of links in the description below that'll lead towards the Cerakoting material Redshirt and I used. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved. I'll see you next time.